The human function curve is a graphic that was created in 1982 by Peter Nixon, a cardiologist who was exploring the relationship between stress and burnout as it relates to the human heart. Today, this chart is largely understood across many human-focused sectors as a way to understand stress, psychology, physical stamina, and human resilience. As humans, we are biologically connected to external stressors. When at appropriate levels, this stress is good for our bodies and minds and allows us to contribute to society and get out of bed in the morning. The stress is positive for us until we reach about 75 to 80% of our body's physical capacity. At this point, we reach a point in our psychobiology where we feel so great that we keep on taking more stress because we predict that the stress will actually cause an increase in function. In reality, this increase of stress past 80% leads us into a fatigue zone. If we ignore our body's cues in this zone and keep taking on more stress, we will eventually reach breakdown and burnout. The goal of our work at The Teaching Well is to support educators in recognizing these signs of burnout in their thoughts, words, sensations, and actions so that they can sustain their excellence for years to come and create healthy school communities where adults are emotionally regulated and stable. As you continue on through this station, you will hear a series of meditations that asks you to consider your current space on the human function curve as well as the sensations, thoughts, emotions, and actions that you are likely to take at each point on the curve. As the rest of the stations progress throughout our somatic experiencing room, you will learn a set of tools that you can use to keep yourself in the optimal somatic zone, the creative calm zone, so that your life and work is in flow and joy.